The extra money that he uh, gets for being the champion allowed him to go and buy that wonderful ring attire he's wearing. Hey, Craig Classic, he doesn't care much about looking fancy and flashy. He's in there to beat people up in the ring and be the toughest cruiserweight around. And he is the D1PW cruiserweight champion. He might be the toughest, but Jarrell seems to be the most athletic by far. And we're going to see some interesting stuff in this one. That much I can guarantee. Well, you always see Jarrell Clark known for his innovative offense. You never know what he's going to throw at you. I'm sure we're going to see a pull out all the stops to try to win the title tonight. Well, the first test of strength of sorts sees Drill Clark take Craig Classic down from a shoulder tackle. There's a hip toss. And Craig's showing why he's the champion. You know, he beat 18,000 other cruiserweights in that match to win the title. 18,000? Okay, maybe it was five, but they were all running around, so I couldn't count them. But still, a very impressive win. Yeah, it was a very impressive win. 18,000, I think, is a little bit much. Uh... I'd like to see that though one day. It's about the size of your stable right now, right? 18,000? And when you've got the world's largest athlete and the Caribbean champion, that's all you need. World's largest, largest, world's largest athlete counts for about four. Uh, Why don't you go tell me you said that? Maybe I will. Yeah, then we can get someone else in here to broadcast with me that I'll enjoy better. Thanks, I appreciate the vote of confidence, but you're the best too. And the best cruiserweight right now, D1PW, Craig Classic. He is the champion title on the line here. And he's certainly not ducking anyone to make his first title defense against Jarrell Clark, former NWA junior heavyweight champion of the world. Gotta love the cruiserweight division with the action so fast and furious. Drop kick by Craig Classic. Jarrell, Jarrell Clark hits hard. And Craig, uh, he's taunting a little bit there. As he should. Why not? Get his head, scramble his brains a little bit. Great. He can definitely back up what he says. International competitor, of course, frequently competes for Big Japan Pro Wrestling. Splits his time between there and here. And now he's a champion. And if he can manage to hold on to the title after this match tonight, he's taking over to Japan to defend it over there. D1 PW titles being defended all over the world. Truly a world cruiserweight championship if that happens. First things first, he's got to beat Jarrell Clark here tonight. And that's not going to be any short order. Jarrell Clark. Arm drag. Drop kick. Another drop kick. Look at that. Unbelievable. Does a backflip. And Craig Classic thought that he missed a drop kick and gets drop kicked again. Well, Jarrell outsmarting Craig that time, using an acrobatic ability to, to flip in midair like that. This guy has amazing control over his body. Give us a little more history on Jarrell Clark, Frank. I know he's been I know he's been more uh, more places than just uh, in the NWA. Well, yeah, I mean he's competed in TNA. He's I mean he's been all over the place. He's been one of the top uh, cruiserweight competitors really in the world over the last five years. Uh, competes frequently in New York, all over Florida. He's definitely a legitimate contender for this title here tonight. Modified armbar of sorts. Jarrell Clark goes to the corner, spins around, comes through, head scissors takeover. On Craig Classic. And Craig smartly taking his time, holding onto the ropes there, yeah, getting a bit of a breather. Warm to the side of the head, and another. Side kick to the face of Craig Classic. He caught him flush in the face that time. You can see Craig just holding his face, making sure everything's still attacked there. Right to the nose, it looked like, Frank. Dead center. Right that in the could butt. easily break a nose. Right classic sends Jarrell Clark to the outside. He lands on his feet and is right back to the apron. Well, he definitely has those cat like reflexes to land on his feet and demonstrates it that time. Right classic gets caught with a shoulder block. Spin over. Reverse elbow by Craig Classic sends Jarrell Clark down. And that's what you got to do when the guy is flying and flipping over the place. Just hit him right in the face with an elbow. That'll slow him down. I think that works on everybody. European uppercut. Across the ring goes Drell Clark and straight down from a high impact clothesline. Now the champ's got this going right the way he wants it to. Elbow. Bridged cover with a hooked leg, but he only gets two. Definitely a slower and more methodical pace definitely benefits Craig Classic here. Just let him wear the man down and just pound on him. 
and uh, keep him from flying around the ring. In the cruiserweight division, the slower pace for a cruiserweight is still probably double the pace of a heavyweight match. So oh, while they're still moving quickly, it is a little bit slower for a cruiserweight matchup. Well, that's what Craig Classic needs to win this match. He needs to slow it down and keep Jarrell exactly where he is on the map. You've seen Craig Classic shine in his element, which is ground and pound and striking. And of course, Jarrell does, doesn't want any part of that, it doesn't seem. He wants to fly around and, and catch you by surprise, catch you off guard, and go to the aerial high impact. So we have a definite difference in styles, and down goes Jarrell Clark again from a throw by Craig Classic. And he's staying on doing exactly what he's got to do, keeping the man on the mat. Out of the way goes Pez Merriweather. Just in time. Another European uppercut. It's a brutal move. Into the corner. Drug Clark flies in and delivers a forearm. Knee to the top of the head. A tremendous elevation that time, and uh, he's going for a pin. Huge elevation by Drug Clark. Gets him a count of two. Craig Classic, I'm sure, has a lot more fight left in him, Craig. Oh, certainly he does. He's fought the toughest over in Japan. And now with the title on the line, he's going to find even that extra uh, reservoir to keep it going. And it's going to be a tough, tough challenge for Jarrell trying to beat him. Look at those well-placed knees in between the shoulder blades of Jarrell Clark. Hard to fly if your back is in complete and total pain. Up into the corner. Run around by Jarrell Clark. Slam down. But both men are worse for wear. So the damage Jarrell has taken early on really prevented from you have to go for the pin that time. Now the referee's counting both men down. Got a count of three already by Pez Merriweather. Of course, once again, if the count reaches ten, this match would be a draw. Looks like they're both getting up now. Once again, we do remind you that this match does have a time limit, correct? Well, as all uh, TV matches do, absolutely. Right hands there by Jarrell. Yeah, absolutely. Showing a little bit of uh, some some pounding ability. Look at the impact of that clothesline. You can just hear the impact that time. Full body slam by Jarrell Clark. Quickly off the ropes. It's amazing how fast this guy moves. Handspring corkscrew. I have never seen anything like that before. What a move pulled off that time by Jarrell Clark. And somehow, Craig able to kick out of that one. Handspring corkscrew splash by Jarrell Clark, and Craig Classic got out. Go behind. Craig Classic dumped him on his head with a belly-to-back suplex. And that'll slow anybody down. Jarrell's not moving. I don't know if anybody can move after being folded up on their cranium. Let's go for the double underhook Double under hook, absolutely. Double under a hook. S sneaks out the back door. Back to a go behind. Spins it back around. Double under hook and takes him over. Tenacious offense by Craig Classic that time. Two and three quarters. Oh, so close there for the champion. Jarrell Clark just won't stay down. Okay, when there's a title on the line, guys will go that extra mile, pull out all the stops. Obviously, they both know what's on the line here. Drell Clark spins up and over. Lands on his feet. Craig Classic turned around. Chop. And another. That'll give Mr. Classic's chest some extra color. Spin through by Craig Classic from Drell Clark. What in the world? Got him prone for a last ride type move and plants his knees in his back on the way down. Count of two in the bell. Well, the fans aren't happy with that one, but it went the distance. Neither man able to secure a victory. Craig Classic will retain the title, but I'm sure we'll be seeing Jarrell Clark getting another shot in the future. 